The following episode is dedicated to our loyal listeners in Upper Thong, West Riding, Yorkshire. Welcome to the Steez, the micro episode of Turnstile Records presents the Escape Pod. Whew, it's still a mouthful. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Let's just start saying it's the Steez. It's the Steez. Oh, well, because well, we, we're three in so far, so mm. we could sort of do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's the shorter version of the Escape Pod. Yeah, well, it's just us mm-hmm. talking. Uh, the, getting the, some content out to the listeners. Yes, because the third wheel isn't in here. Yeah, uh, we got really sick of um, not putting it up regularly every week. Yeah, you so need to, we, you need to post up. Yeah, look, if we can't get a full episode in, we should be able to get one of these in because mm. it's only a, a thirty-minute uh, whoosh as it was. <laughs> if yeah. I had to go Michael Winslow on that one, yeah, but uh, you will hear uh, professional sound effects in the microsodes. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. More work, more work. Uh, so love your work. Uh, yes, I love and, your work uh, too, and also, also with you. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Back to oh, myth, every t- myth, to, to myth three. <laughs> <laughs> it's if you put it if you put it in everything, mm, everything. If, if you start to do that, yes, uh, I think you'll spend the rest of your life doing it. Like it's really hard to undo. So I'm just going to uh, try and make it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this week's Melbourne myth three, <laughs> 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 because there could be a myth. It could be a oh, mystery. It could be a mystery. It could be history. It could be a uh, hearsay. Uh, this this next story comes to us from uh, August 1966. Mm. Melbourne uh. police <laughs> were called to investigate um, a report of deafening knocks mm. alternating between knuckles. Do you want to give us a knuckle? Oh, yes. Um... Uh, and open palm thumping. <laughs> that's, Wait, no, no, that's, that's more clapping. Open palm. More, more like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Could you hear that? Beating on the chest. Yeah. Okay. Um, which terrified a family in East Oakley. East Oakley, just around the corner. When you say just around the corner, yes. just to put it into perspective for people that don't know where we we live. Um, I'm sure it'll be revealed in uh, Jeremy's diary eventually. <laughs> yes. But uh, we did live in ye olde East Oakley. Ah, yes. Um, which turned into Mount, Mount Waverley. Yes, they changed the border. They did. So this actually occurred uh, in our Waverly. parents' street, the street ah. we grew up in. Oh, dead set. Yeah. Pun so on the pun. So I've been looking into this for some time now mm. there was a documentary that came out okay. that was all about a house mm. in East Oakley we know that much so far yes. um, so that's a recap no that, that was it was a haunting and it wasn't just any kind of haunting it was a um, poltergeist <laughs> Extra, a poltergeist um, now just to sort of join the dots right mm. there is a property on our parents street just around the bend. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, sure towards, not. going, heading towards the milk bar. Okay. And uh, that is the place that when they built it, mm. they uncovered an ancient well. Oh. So there was a well there. All okay. Right? What, a, a stoned up a brick well? Or? I think a stone well from the property or something. But anyway, that's where it was. So that's just one thing. Okay. Right? As it turned out, watching this documentary and talking to who's our next on Hamer, who's also been known to be called Jeremy what? Uh, garbage. Yes, we've had garbage being shouted out. Uh, garbage, where's my omelette? Garbage. Uh, they were not eating omelettes over there. No. It's meat pies all the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, meat, no veg. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I talked to her mm, God, about really? this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she pointed out the house. Yeah. Sure enough, it was the house that had the well. <sighs> So what had happened is uh, there was um, mysterious bangings on the outside of this wall. Mm. I'm just going to compress it down to one big, quick ghostly well, story. Um, and uh, as the story goes, the guy would go to the front door, yeah. 
and then at the back door it'd be the tappity tap. So, so you go, you go to the front door because he's heard. Yep, he's like, pizza's, damn kids, <laughs> pizza's here. The <laughs> oldie Victorian style pizza. Yeah. Um, which one would be on that? <laughs> um, dirt. <laughs> okay. Probably cat hair. Yep. Raw potato <laughs> and um, some garlic loo. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so go to the other end of the house. Thumpity thump thump hmm. on the other one. So. It sparked a media uh, friend's eye yeah. in our street. And I've, what's this documentary? I've, you've never seen the never documentary? Started, I've never heard about this. Okay, I'll link it to you. You've okay. never heard about it. It's no. the poltergeist of uh, East Oakley or oh. something along oh. It's just several doors up from where you, where you live. Now, uh, there was in our area a, a Aboriginal... Oh. Excuse me. Let's say that again. There was in our area behind in the reserve mm. behind where we live. Now, for those of you with a map, you're starting to close in <laughs> on where we are. Yeah. Um, we backed onto the reserve, and that was an ancient, well, ancient, ancient but well, yeah, yeah, old school yes. uh, Aboriginal birthing grounds. Well, I would say the well was old, and the birthing grounds ancient. I think, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah right, <laughs> with you, with you. Yeah. But um, you would think in our lines of our mm. first mystery, ah, uh, yes, where you so die, unfinished business, ghostly ghosts only come out to play, or, when... or the catchphrase "Where you die, you fly." Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's yeah, what like um, that's how they uh, market it in. Uh, yeah, limbo. Yeah, in limbo. Yeah. Great. Um, so, is there some kind of um, miss uh, upsetness? So, what was going on? So, so that he would go to one end. The the it would be open the front door. There was nothing there, and then straight away there'd be knocking on the back door. So he'd go down there, and then and, and then be, and then imagine like uh, all around his property is farmland. Like, all right, it's but it's farmland, but like. On their uh, weatherboard sort of uh, uh, shanty house, bang, 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 bang. No one out there. Someone's so trying to get out of the well, Tim. Mm, related to the well or related Someone's to the well? Someone's in the well, uh, dude. Someone's in the well. Yeah. That's Billy, why the unfinished Billy. business. <laughs> Billy's down the well. <laughs> yes. He's trying what? to get out. Billy's down the well? So there'd be rap, rapidly rap raps all over the house. And then when does the media come into it? Because they there to check uh, it out? I or think... So he rings up the, the press and goes, I'm lo- either losing my mind. Or I've got uh, a poltergeist. Well, here's a good little thing for it, right? Um, I'm going to do some research, find that documentary, give it to you. You're going to then watch it. Okay. And then you're going to tell the story back to me. Okay. <laughs> got it. Yeah. For uh, the update. But uh, there you go. That's a yes. very localised uh, myth. Three. Three. Because it is a mystery. Um, and it wasn't just uh, kids knocking on. There's way more to the story, but yeah. I'm just like, you know. Do you really want to hear a fucking ghost story? <laughs> well, this is what the whole one. segment's okay. about, so yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah. what do I... Uh, ask me. Oh, okay. Is it... Uh, do, what do you think? Fact. Um, myth. Three, myth. <laughs> legend. Hearsay. Hearsay. Or um, the other one, where people just say it. A lie. Uh, urban myth. Oh, urban myth. <laughs> um, I would say... I would say this guy heard something. Uh, the the news casters or the reporters have, have rocked up and mm-hmm. perhaps blown it way out of proportion. Okay, but I do like the uh, the well scenario part of the part there of the There is a well involved, yes. and we all know what happens to wells. Things get thrown down there that need to be yep. forgotten. That's right. But uh, and the movie The Ring, there was a well that was under that house. house. That's right. Yeah, the Ring yeah. was a well here. Oh, was it? Yeah. I think oh, so. that was the ring. Yeah. When you look up, gotcha. When you look up from right. the bottom of the well, okay. you see just a ring of light. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. So for this one, I'm just going to go back a few days. This is um, Wednesday, the fifth of January. Oh, we're so back 1994. In time. We're going back in time, then going back again, <laughs> back and forward, and here and there. Who knows where we might go? I don't. <laughs> no. Uh, neither do I, actually. I haven't read these. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> nah. it's, it's horrendous. Like, it's had, it, I needed almost 25 years in between to be able to read this shit out aloud. Cause Fair it's, enough. It's horrendous. Okay. Some of the letters I've got up in my, in my crawl space that I've written to girls. And, oh, I, swear, I swear you stole that story off me. I was just telling you before. <laughs> Isn't it my box with my letters? Yeah. <laughs> Don't Same pull thing. them out. No, nah, never. No. <clears throat> so Wednesday. Although it'd be good to read. Have you got letters from chicks? Yeah. Okay. That you can read. 
That we all want to hear it, don't yeah. we? Don't we, folks? <laughs> yeah. I want to hear that. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll go back up there too. Well, um, you know, like, totally. Can I chew your hair? That chick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Surely yeah, there's something that can be told there. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to own it. I was pashing some chick at a party, and she uh, had long blonde hair, and that was one of her things. Like, ah, oh, could I, could I nibble on your hair? Yeah, a like, little bit early for a fetish in our relationship, <laughs> but uh, go for it anyway. Wednesday, fifth of January, back from cams again. <laughs> <laughs> Did we do anything else? No. Nah. He's where he borrowed a fucking Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really beginning oh, to hate wasted camp. so much time uh, playing that Super yeah, NES. Stupid. Please, sorry, read on. Back from camps again. His dad has gone fishing for around two weeks, so we just go around there and stuff around. Help them. Um, oh, yeah. Hold on. Stuff around. Yeah. Please. Uh, spent most of the day, day driving around uh, with Michael, our brother, apparently. Okay. Uh, to Frankston and back and so on. That's about all that happened today. Tomorrow I was thinking I will uh, chill with Daniel. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen him for a while. Dickhead got busted sneaking out. <laughs> so his parents don't let him talk to any of us for about a week or so. Well, holidays are going downhill. It is so boring. Still haven't found a job or a woman. Oh. Word up. Word up. This is so word up. <laughs> Why? So, I don't think I realise what word man. up is really meant well I think you're using the correct context Context. I haven't found a woman yet mm. word up <laughs> no, nice. still doesn't work uh, yeah, so that was uh, obviously the, the start of, of Daniel and I well I know we had a budding relationship the year before I think Okay, but uh, um, obviously you got him into a lot of trouble it's like um, Cam he was used the one to, sneaking out I, well yeah, yeah true <laughs> Cam used to um, just use me as uh, his uh, Tim made me do it. Yeah. You know, when quite clearly Cam made me do it. Yeah, because his so, dad was away and he had no parental supervision. That's that's what I believe. Cam's dad's been away for two weeks. We must have wrecked it up. <laughs> Far out. I'm sure that was in the diary. What, uh, what, what do you got in the, uh, the page next to that? What are those uh, two little things you've stuck I've into got a, your I've diary? I've got a, uh, a Zone 3 two-hour concession card, <laughs> <laughs> which means that we went uh, past sort of Stud Road. So oh, okay. Out to Knox, suburbs. which you wouldn't have gone further than Knox, surely. Yeah. Um, and a little, a little card from Sugar Shack on Friday. Oh, the Sugar Shack. Turbulence is the name of the night. Uh, I didn't go to the Sugar Shack. I was only 14. Oh, well, there you go. That must so have been from a, our, um, our brothers. That uh, could have stuff. been a drink card from Sugar Shack. Mm. Um, I think... Um, <laughs> I think that's uh, that's a great entry. Another there, entry, yeah. No worries. Yep. A lot more swimming and a lot more hanging around the camps. <laughs> camps <yeah. laughs> no Nintendo Still haven't this time. found a woman though, but no. that's coming up. Though. I, I think spoiler alert: I find a woman. Word up! Word up! <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the swooning of Johnny Belafonte and his smash hit album "Croon the Pooh." With such hits just like this. Slip the lady a couple of roofies and she'll fall right to her knees. Yeah. Johnny Belafonte's classic uptown baggage. Herpes is a hell of a thing. Johnny Belafonte sings his hidden dark secrets. Prescription drugs inserted now when I bend over. And who could forget the smash hit, My New Best Friend. Darling, you're my new best friend, but you'll never see the daylight again. Ha-ha! So make sure you get down to your stores and purchase a copy right now. G'day, and welcome to the Turnstile Records Presents Sean Enough Does Stuff. I don't do much, but when I do, I record it. On this episode, we're visiting the Royal Melbourne Show, where we find free stuff, educational experiences, good times, and what could prove to be the holy grail of food groups. Have you heard about the Royal Melbourne Show? You really must go. Oh, there's free Herald Sunbags. There's, there's free things. Miniature trains, miniature ponies, free newspapers, and all the flashing lights you can poke a stick at. Belgian Shepherd Dog, Black and White, Zip It Up 1930. 
And we have the Belgium Shepherd Dog Juvera. The Juvera is a member of the Belgium Shepherd Dog family. Once again, originating after a village in Belgium. Recognised by its thick double coat, generally mahogany with varying degrees of black overlay. The Belgium Shepherd Dog Juvera exhibit number 1932. The Border Collie is a herding dog bred, the breed developed in the Anglo-Scottish border region for herding livestock, especially sheep. Working Border Collies can take direction by voice. Okay, I've just learnt something interesting, that the Terra in Terrier represents that it's an earth dog. Well, the atmosphere is so damn lit around the Royal Melbourne Show. Don't you wish it was show day every day? Word of advice when visiting Royal Melbourne Show, you really must go, is that once you're through the gates, it is the wild, wild west. You don't know if you're going to come up against places that have FPOS facilities or places that are cardless, cash-only, tax-free havens of society. So here we are, after a good hour looking for an ATM, we've managed to find some cash to get our tickets to get into the ghost train, and we're going to confront our deepest fears. I was strapped in on the ghost train. Every kid under 12 is getting off this ride is crying. <laughs> I think I'll be the same. How are you, mate? All right? Not bad. I'm just recording a bit of a podcast. You might have asked you, um, you got any advice for the ride? Uh, not really. Just hold on. <laughs> I'll be holding on to my, um, my sphincter valve. <laughs> is it likely that I'll poo my pants? Uh, I don't know what your capabilities are. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. Oh, really? Well done. That's a good ride. That was so lame. Okay, so that's the childhood fear confronted. I don't know if I'll be doing it again. It's good to know they still employ the one real person at the end to really freak you out. But they're not going to touch you anymore. Thank Christ. Well, there you have it. That was just as good as being there. If you'd like more immersive experiences just like this, be sure to subscribe to Turnstile Records Presents The Escape Pods so you don't miss any more instalments. Next week, we tightrope walk the fine line between madman and genius and talk to Gary Mardigan about his idea to harness gravity to create clean energy. Sea shanties. <laughs> What's this? What's this segment? Well, there's a, a guy found a uh, a book up in Timmy's crawl space, the twelve million dollar note, and other strange but true sea stories. Ah, okay, I look at yeah. sea shanty. And, so uh, this is kind of um, kind of sea ish. A letter from a dead soldier. Huh. Tasmania is a large island. So well, that's there you go. Factual it's local. So far, yeah, yep. so. two hundred ninety mi- two hundred ninety kilometers long. And 306 kilometres wide, mm. south of Australia. It's quite large. You know it? Uh, I've been there. Do you know the place? Yeah, I do. Uh, in 1953, a bottle drifted ashore on a narrow Tasmanian beach. Inside was a note written 37 years earlier mm. by two Australian soldiers wh- whose home was in Tasmania. Holy, holy shit. When they shit wrote the, the note, the two soldiers were on a troop ship bound for the battlefields of France in WW1. Yes, the, the original war. Yeah. The good one. <laughs> the original and the best. Mm. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back of um, the war sagas. No, that's Star Wars. Is, World War One is Star Wars. Yeah, well, but, but it was the better one. WW2 is Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the mother of the one soldier was still living, and the note was delivered to her. Mm. She recognized the handwriting of her son, Immediately. Yeah, wow, that's... Um, the young man had been killed in action in France in 1918, 35 years before the message reached her. Now, this book, how old is this book? Um, it's pretty shabby. Oh, I would geez. say it's, uh, it's uh, got to be 70s, s- maybe 80s. Summer of the tea for 1977. 77? So now, is there any, years um, because it says true, but uh, true, but real, weird, but true stories. Is that one on the front there, Tim? Um, uh, and other strange but true sea right. stories. So, is there any fact checking in there? Can we? Okay, let's. Is see. this an urban uh, legend that's 
been blown uh, way out of proportion with no uh, research whatsoever. Either way, it's, it's, uh, it's still an interesting <laughs> story, don't you think? So that's the tale of the week. Okay, we can do that. We can yeah. switch it up, doesn't yeah, it? We, we can do that. Yeah. There you go. That's all the time we have this week for the Steez. Yes. Tune in next week for Turnstile Records presents The, the Escape, Escape Pods. The regular podcast, as usual, mm. as you like. We'll be back. I'm Timmy Taco. I'm Jez Bob. Thanks for listening. Oh, my God. Jimmy, you know I get when, when scraps holds onto your leg and rubs up and down? That's unexpected. Kick that bass. Just a little more. Turn to the right. And a little pressure to the left. There. Lady. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Now you try to contain yourself.